My name is Kate Rogers. I'm the zoo manager, and this is the Alameda Park Zoo. So the zoo actually started in 1898. It was a train stop and we had a, a duck pond area with some deer, part of an area for the train to stop and let their passengers get off. And this was a big train depot area back then. And then slowly the zoo has grown into what it is today. Right now there's about 90 species and 175 animals. The original zoo was a duck pond and some deer, so it's way past tripled, I would guess. Right now, Alameda Park houses the attics. They are considered critically endangered. We have the Mexican gray wolves, and I believe that's it right now. So we are part of the Mexican gray wolf SSP program. So the SSP program is a species survival program put in place for critically endangered animals for zoos to help with the conservation project and get these animals numbers reestablished out in the wild. So actually the Mexican gray wolves, they are federally owned. So each year there's a, a group of facilities that put together a, a yearly program of what wolves are moving to what facilities, what wolves are going to be bred, what wolves are being released, and then what wolves are going to be kept at holding facilities like Alameda Park Zoo. We're not really considered like a breeding program when it comes to the species survival programs. Ours is mainly for exhibit animals, for education. Right now we're working on our north end of our zoo with our Mexican gray wolf exhibit. And then our next project is going to be the duck pond on the south end of the zoo. That's going to be redone with a new taper back quarters, new perimeter fencing, and a new bird exhibit. Uh, we're working on gearing up for our junior zookeeper programs. We break it down into each day. We have a mammal day, we have a bird day, we have a reptile day, enrichment day, and then an animal training day. And those kids get to go along with the keepers and see really what it takes to take care of all these animals and they get to help build the enrichment, they get to help make diets, and then the last day of the camp, they get to go through with the keepers and watch the keepers hand out everything that they've made and prepared throughout the week to give to those animals. This is Mouse that I've got with me today. She's a red kangaroo. She was an orphan kangaroo, and we've used her to go into the schools and really get the kids to see and learn about what it takes to help these species so, to survive. We've tried really hard this spring to hit as many schools as we could in Otero County. I bet our education coordinator has been to 15 schools within the county. And that is part of the zoo conservation effort, is educating the public on what it takes to keep these species going. The most that we do right now, we do have some keeper talks that are tied in with birthday parties. Right now, that was our starting point and we're working on more consistent uh, education programs. So any of our animals that are really temperature sensitive, their exhibits are set up for extreme heat. They've got the ACs, they have a way to cool down for the animals that, that need the, the consistent heat in the winter. They've all got heating pads, heat lamps, heaters, and uh, the capability to be protected from any sort of cold weather coming in. We're open nine to five every day except for Christmas and New Year's, and last entry is 4.30.